In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stop and download data from the 21 CFR EasyLog USB Data Logger. To begin, click Stop the USB Data Logger and Download Data. Then click Yes to continue. This will bring you to the Logger Stop Condition page. To save the data to the PC, press OK. Next, you have to select a file name for the log data, then click Save. Then the graph program will open automatically. Here is our graph. As you can see, there are multiple traces. Temperature, humidity, dew point, and any associated alarms. On the left-hand axis, there is temperature, and on the right-hand axis, there is humidity. If you note, know, as I hover over the data points, the numerical reading of those are shown at the bottom of the screen. You are able to turn off different traces, so I'm just going to turn off the humidity and the dew point trace, as well as their associated alarms, and just be left with temperature. The horizontal dotted lines running across the graph indicate the set high and low alarm points, so you can easily see if an alarm condition has been met during the course of the recording. At the top of the page you have a variety of options. On the far right corner, there is a folder image. When you click it, it allows you to open a graph from a file. To the right of that is a magnifying glass with a plus and minus which allows you to zoom in and out of a selected area on the graph. There is also a clock image which allows you to enter a specific date and time period to be displayed. I am now just going to zoom in to a particular area. If there is an area I want to zoom in, I simply drag the cursor over it. This allows us to analyze the data a little bit more closely. To the right is a print icon which allows you to print the current graph view. Next to that is an export option which gives us the data in a variety of formats. Click the export button and choose your desired format. Assign appropriate file name and click save. Note that because I have zoomed in on an area, a warning message pops up, giving me the option if I want to print the zoomed area or the whole graph. To the right is an Approve button. When you click that button, it brings us to a password and comment option. Input your password and leave your desired comment. There is a Mark Samples option, which shows log data points on a graph. There is also a Statistics option, which shows the max, min, average and standard deviation based on a normal distribution for all of the traces. The data view button allows you to view data in a table and add comments to specific data points. Note: Once the data has been approved you are not able to add more comments unless you first unapprove the data. Also if you click here it will show you all of the alarms. The audit view button creates a session audit. At the bottom left hand corner there is an advanced view which shows more intricate data. The session audit only shows information about the data logging session you have open. The full software audit in the main software will also contain the same information for the session.